Okay, I'd like to call the meeting to order at 7.16. First on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the May 27th meeting. I do have one correction. I forgot to put in the minutes that the roadside mowing bid was tabled. She gave me the wrong minute. I'm sorry. Why? We have Monday. What meeting? What meetings do you have? May 27th. You're sorry, Oh, I'm all right. I'm looking at May 13th. I don't have May 13th. You want these? No, I have one. Jamaica Benefit Society, formerly known okay. as Lady So FKA is correct. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, formerly known as. Okay. 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 I guess it could be either one. Right. right. Was it in fact formerly known by the no yes. yes. There we go.
Just on, uh, where I, on the bottom of page one where I reported that as health officer that there was a complaint about no heat. Mm -hmm. And it says Mr. Coyne contacted the landlord and he turned it back that on. It should be the landlord. He, he had told me that he had turned it back on. Okay, right. and uh, I will put the landlord. So he he had already turned it back on? Yeah, yeah. he had turned it back on. Yeah, that's right. That he would turn it on, okay. He actually had. Okay. Oh, that he, he had, had turned it on. Okay. Right, no, he had turned it on. Okay. I move sure. that the uh, minutes be accepted as revised. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing no, all in favor say aye. 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 Next on the agenda is to approve the timesheets for Highway Department of Transportation listed in town office. Number three, approve select board pay orders. Number four, time for public concerns, but I believe Valerie and David are here on the town. Okay, so for, uh, number five is Kristen Wilson contacted the town office and she does our compiling of our town report. Um, since we have outside auditors now, um, she was wondering if she has to put a bid in or if she is still, are we still going to use her as our compiler of the town report? Um, she's been doing it for many years now, has everything in her computer. Um, it is my request that we keep her on. Um, I think. Be why she asked so early is because she has to start compiling and getting pictures and getting all the information needed. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not a, a huge uh, amount of money. I think it was like $1,500 or $1,100. Um, and I think if we get somebody new, it would cost a lot more. Um, and she knows the area, she knows the people lives here. And she's done a good and job. She's done, she's done a wonderful yeah. job. Yeah. yeah. Um, what is your pleasure on that? Do we need to make a motion? Uh, I think we can. I would move so move that Christian Wilson, after years of excellent service to the town, continue mm -hmm. to produce our town report. I'll second that. Do we have any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, I will have Pat contact Kristen and tell her that uh, she can start working on the town report. Um, next on the agenda, number six, a request from West Yamadin for abatement of his property. Um, we have two others from the past that we have, we're going to set. Um, and we should, his house was burned, as you know, so, um, so we could set his at the same time as the other two that we're doing. Do we have a time and date yet? I don't remember it. I, Pat told me and it, I completely forgot. But it will be in time for them to get it out. Um, this will occur, let's, let's, um, so we'll need a motion for that. Amend for abatement of property and taxes. I don't want to obey this property. Taxes, sure sorry. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Can you have a motion for that, please? I'll be glad to um, once again move that the um, Request from Wesley Edmonton for abatement of property taxes be included in the upcoming tax abatement hearing. Okay. Sorry. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Number seven on the agenda is uh, our proposed contract with the Wyndham County Sheriff's Department. And it states that their contract will not exceed the $25,000 which we've budgeted for, which will give us a, pay them $2,083 per month. And I believe this is due, it's usually July 1st through um, June 30th. That's the same amount as last year. Correct. And my recollection was is that we pay them the same amount per month, no matter how many hours of service. Right. 
and they would it would it would it would even out over the course over of the, the year. Course of How would that work? Uh, That's worked out fine. We we have we been getting the uh, we're getting re services in? services provided. Um, nobody's made any complaints that you know they call that they don't get them. Um, of course, they're not there in the middle of the night, but uh, for daytime. Have there been calls other than? That? I don't know if there's been calls or not. Uh, I would think that they should give us some kind of They do. It's not with this one. It's with the other ones when we get the bill. It's usually attached to it. Yeah, and it does say it does. They do supply their whole um, activities of what they've done for that month. Have they been doing speed control? Uh, yes, they have. They have. Yeah, and they've been going on the back roads and, and stuff like that. It's okay. hard through Jamaica with the sidewalk project going. They've been pulling people over during it. Oh. Yeah, the same thing. are going a little too fast. Yeah. So um, they're still providing very good service to us. Mm -hmm. Did George retire? George, George retired. Fine. I wonder if we should go. Uh, Send him a letter thanking him for his service because he was awfully helpful, especially during your uh, Irene. That's a good idea. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he was always right there when he did. Yeah. I believe he retired. I forgot when he retired in January. He was really? March. I thought well, I was in the cruiser late. Well, that's it. He retired, but he didn't. Apparently, it took him a while to stop working. But if they need him, they still come back, he said. <laughs> yeah. So, Do we have one person who's assigned to Jamaica now, or is it no. a mixture of uh, No, it depends who's on call. Um, it varies. Are they, are they planning on assigning one person like two other folks? So. No, no, he just happened to be, but there was other fellows in the area too. Yeah. He just happened to be. Really well, it's kind of, it was kind of nice yeah. to know who you're, you know, when, when George was in town, you knew him well enough that you could go to him and right. express your concern. And well, the, the other couple of fellows that, I come in contact with. Uh, they're, they're just as nice as George. They're very helpful. I mentioned George because uh, working with him during the during our reign and during that the whole yeah. disaster there, we you know we saw a lot of him. He was yeah. really helpful in right. that work. All right. Do you need a motion for this, please? I would move that we accept the contract as written. Do you have a second? I'll second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And I'd like to follow that with a, <clears throat> I'd like to make a motion that the. Whoops. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what are you doing? I want, I want to make another motion that we uh, uh, send a letter to um, the Sheriff's Department thanking George Bagley. Badgley. Badgley, B A G E L Y. Yes. Good for his service to the town of Jamaica and uh, wish him well in his retirement. I'll second that. Any further discussion? Okay, who's going to uh, do the letter? If you'd like me to do it, I can I'll do it. I'll do it. I just wanted you to say that. Oh, I'm just <laughs> trying to be helpful. <laughs> Because I have nothing else to do. Yeah, sure. I have this extra comments lying around. I'll do it. I'll do it. That's all right. I just wanted to get. I just wanted to get that in there. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's have to give him a hard time. All right. Uh, number eight is. Uh, it's a record plan request from Green Mountain International Affiliates contract with VTrans to design permanent repairs and additional safety improvements at mile marker 3.8 on Vermont Route 100, and that's going towards Wards World. Um, and they've given us a map. What they need from us is uh, for utilities, so that they know how to get in touch with the utilities. I believe that's what it is. And property is adjacent to where they're working. Who are Green Mountain, Green International? Well, VTrans um, hi hired them to work for them. I don't know who they are. Yeah. But they're hired by VTrans. They're a civil engineering consulting firm. Yeah. Is it, a, is it a, like a, 
a project to, uh, is it like a project or is it just? I believe it's, had, I'm not exactly sure if it has something to do with the bridge and around the bridge where they've replaced the bridge that was. Um, yeah. Are these are they hiring them to make recommendations or to actually do work? No, it's, they just need uh, names of utilities. It sounds like they're fixing temporary stuff that they did right. for the for the during the disasters and they're, they're calling polishing off. Okay, number nine. I have a letter here and I'll read it. So the board's it's for all of us. <laughs> Even though it says my name, but that's okay. The issue of water supply to the town hall is becoming critical. With several concerts coming up and the Pikes Falls Music Festival in August, we need to have some resolution on this issue, even if it is a temporary one, such as a cistern. Could you please put this on the agenda for the select board's meeting on Monday, June 10th? If any questions or if you need any more information, to please call Gallery Heisler. Well, we're lucky that they're here tonight. And, uh, I read this, and what I did, I um, last year we did get a quote from Lind Well Drilling, um, and it was approximately six thousand six hundred dollars, but that didn't include the um, backhauling and the electrical work or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I have taken the liberty to assign my husband to get two more. Um, and call Lind again, get two more, three more, three uh, proposed bids. Yeah. He's meeting with one gentleman, I can't remember who, um, on Wednesday morning. Um, they're going to come, uh, and we're going we're gonna to start there. I think a cistern with the fire department, I, I, think, I don't think that's going to work too well. Probably not. But I mean, it was a good thought, anyway. Temporary. Maybe. Temporary. So yeah. hopefully we can... Um, and we're going to see if we can. There's some program out there Pat was telling me about. Um, it was called the It was like a a, <clears throat> a fundraising campaign, and uh, it was through Kickstart. And she's going to get me more information on that yeah. to maybe we could help pay for some of that. It's like if one of the well drillers comes, you hire a well driller, you'll say, okay, we have this program. We will get publicity in papers and uh, television, um, radio, and stuff like that. And there's a whole list of things. And, and I just looked at it very briefly on a computer today. So I had to find out more information about it. So we're going to try to work with something like that to help defray some of the costs. But I think it's very crucial that the town have water um, because we could have drinking water. We don't have to ask people to bring in their water or anything like that, or have a child maybe drink the water by mistake. Um, but as soon as I get the estimates, we'll bring them, I'll bring them to the board again and get some more information on this Kickstart program. Um, to see what we can do, but we'll try to move it as quickly as possible. Is um, what is Steve investigating again going across? The no, street? no, no. That's or a from just a, a, a drilled well. Okay, because um, yeah, I mean, if that can be done, we also got an offer from Jay Stone from the Benefit Society that they would like to do a fundraiser, and this might be something that they might like to get their teeth into. Okay. If we could get the funds somehow or other, um, or even a loan or something like that, I'm sure we could just be able to work this out. Just a good solution for it, because as you said, it's not just drinking water and toilets, but there's no, you know, you can't wash your hands, you can't, uh, there's no water supply for even washing the floors in there or anything like that. And with the, the Pikes Falls Festival, it's going to be a real challenge because that's eight days of many, many people using the facilities. And uh, that's right around the corner. Oh, sorry. It's, like, when is it? it's August, isn't it? Uh, it's it's August. August, yeah. yeah. August <laughs> 2nd through the 11th. And um, that, that will be a lot of people using.
to be a town hall. And that's tradition of the time it goes dry. Mm -hmm. So this is really, I, I, I'm here to stress the urgency of it. It's really something that we just Because another uh, suggestion was, but Steve didn't think it was a good idea, there's the spring that goes mm -hmm. to the town hall, then there's another spring that neither belongs to uh, Mr. Smith or the Murrays, but they don't use it anymore. Yeah. But by the time you dug those out, clean those out, put new pipes, it would cost just as much, probably or almost, mm -hmm. as drilling a well. Yeah. So that was that was just a thought, just in case somebody yeah, I remember brought it up. Some talk about shocking or cleaning out one well. And uh, then if the weather, you know, if there's not enough rain, the water table goes down, and then mm -hmm. you don't have any water. Um, mm -hmm. And. Uh, so we'll work on this. We're going to work on this as quickly as possible. Yeah. Um, uh, otherwise, I think you know we're going to have to, like last year for one performance, and really we, we a good crowd for us is 75 people paying ten dollars each, and the artist gets 60 percent. Well, we had to rent a porta potty for one night mm -hmm. for a hundred dollars, and they went all our money, <laughs> all our proceeds from that whole night. Um, we do it if we have to, but um, we really need to come to some sort of uh, quick conclusion on this. Um, you know, and, and I'll just trust that you know if there's anything that Steve finds out, please let us know, and we'll, we'll contact you because you folks are. Really, he's just doing me a favor. And we'll yeah, okay. <laughs> and we will try to get some money together for it, even if uh, I, I don't know how to do it, but we're going to try to get some money together if it can be done right away. Um, if there's one other issue with the town hall that I'd like to bring before you, if we're finished with the water issue, yeah. um, we want to put ceiling fans in the town hall. I believe Joe Granis gave you some, uh, you know, proposal about that. Did you anything I'll, about I'll have to look back. I know it, he did give us. Was it the fans or was it the? I thought it was ceiling fans. Was it yeah. ceiling fans? Okay, yeah. he did. Okay. And um, basically, we have enough in our budget, the um, you know our committee budget, to take care of the ceiling fans. We did hope that maybe the select board or the town would pay for Chris Clark's uh, fee of two hundred and fifty dollars for the for the uh, you know labor, Chris Clark's labor on this. Is that possible for the budget? And I think it's a good idea. I think it's not only helpful in this in this. Summertime, you know, to keep the air circulating, but also in the wintertime to keep the heat down. Because the co concert we had last weekend, um, it was hotter than more. Hotter than blazes. Yeah, some people just left because they couldn't stand the heat anymore. It was, and we had we had given a couple of fans just right, which did help. Literally. It did help, but not not, <laughs> not enough. Yeah, not we've enough. got some money in, in our maintenance budget, I think, to handle that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would move that. Uh, that we authorized an expenditure of approximately $250 to yeah. put the electrical uh, work into doing that. For ceiling fans. I'll second that. Any further discussion? The only discussion I can think of is like, we ought not to give $250 to uh, Chris. No. We should just authorize a, an expenditure to the town hall and how they then do it. Uh, where where uh, are the fans coming from? We're the purchasing we're gonna purchase oh, a fan. Yeah. You know, we're the um, JCs, what is it, the Jamaica Community Arts Council. Oh, okay. And we're the ones who, we're the programming arm, basically. So we take in the proceeds from the concerts. We have about $1,600 in our budget. Mm -hmm. And the fans and accessory stuff is going to come out of that. It would be nice, you know, if we could get a little help, because Again, sixteen hundred dollars just goes so far, <laughs> and it doesn't go far. Yeah. Well, they can give us the bill for the electrical. Sure. Yeah. I, I'm, what I'm saying is, it right. actually, uh, I would recommend that uh, that the town just have Chris submit the bill as if he was maintaining a town building, because he does that out for other town buildings as well, rather than go through the. Uh, yeah, that would be something. Okay. It, yeah, it's a maintenance issue building. for the town for a town yeah. building. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we need to go yes, two hundred fifty? We don't have to go to bid on that. No. No, I don't think so. It might be less than that too. Or it could be a little bit more, that's why it's approximately. Oh, I agree, I don't. Chris is being very good hearted about that. Yeah. <laughs> I would want to put fans to those ceilings. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
All right, we had the motion. Uh, no second. Any further discussion on it? Okay, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Do you have anything else that you, yeah, I mean, you do? Okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. We used to have a, a crosswalk, like for pedestrians, in front of the circles, in front of the Jamaica House, between, between Skip's Place and across the street there. And basically, it was on a, you know, like a rubber, rubber, mm -hmm. uh, Anger. Oh, the people were basically. Which the cars, the cars ran into. Deck, yes. Basically, got destroyed. Mm -hmm. So let's see if, see if we can get some. One of these things, like it's, it's like a person sort of. I've seen them around. Yeah. yeah. There's a name of that person yeah. holding. Yeah. I don't think we can put those in our walkway. The person holding the flag. That little guy, yeah, green yeah, guy. Yeah, I don't they like the sandwich boards that you can no, put on? No, there's this there's there's little green oh. steak guy. Yeah. A steak guy, I'm sorry. It's on the side of the ground. It's, it's a little guy. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. green and he's holding yeah, the flag. What kind of sidewalk? The, the tents we get into. It, that's because that's a state road. We can't leave. Because it's a state road, there's certain things you can do. It's yeah. something you've got. Put it on the sidewalk. I can put it on the Jamaica House sidewalk and I can go out and move it. Take it in. I don't know. We'll have to see what uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you want to find out what we can do on that road? The only thing we can do is, you know, if you go to Chester or other places, they have those, like, like you said, sandwich board things. We had one once, but at night, the big trucks go by, and they're heavy, and they, oh, and they, they break them. They, they get broken. Um, the, we do now have, well, we did too, but the two signs saying that uh, oh, you know there's crosswalk. Possibly we can get two of those sandwich boards and have them, I've seen them at each end of the crosswalk rather than in the center. And, and they don't do and they don't get damaged. Yeah. What about the real signs? There are signs got, there. Like, you know, there are the there are two signs there, one going each way. That's no, what I'm talking about on a post, you know, like the it is. Yeah, they are it well, is. They they the are. No, no, no. That would be an addition to the That's course. addition. There are two signs, one going north, one going right. south, that say crosswalk. Okay, so you're talking about an addition. In addition to that. I would like that whole thing, that, that little box yeah. out. Yeah, the face think, got broken. Yeah, I don't think we could use that, though. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, we've still got it underneath. Sure. Sure. No, but not that, that one, but the little the green guy. The, 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 the little the green guy is just like outside oh, somebody's house. Right. Yeah. 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 They used them across the street in my house and they ended up in the river. <laughs> oh. Pecked pick them out of there once. And, and <laughs> it's it's kind of the river the river phone just bang right in there. <laughs> so, anyway, well, hopefully, since the streets are, the, side, the crossings are very well marked, and also since the street corner is a little bit more square, people do have to slow down. That was the question I was going to ask you because I remember early, early in the process you had asked yeah. that the design take into consideration how tricky that was and how dangerous yeah. it was. I'm wondering if you're finding it better way it is now. I think so. Okay. I think so. I mean, people really do have to slow down and make that curve now. So it's helped a bit. Good, good. Okay. A bit. Well, we thank you very much. Okay. Thank and thank you for the concerns of the town hall. And I will yeah. imagine the committee report that. That city, it's going, he'll see, I'll have see get in touch with you or I'll get in touch oh, with you. Oh, yeah, please. Okay. Yeah, we'll do what we can. We'll, we'll get money back over the crook. We shouldn't say Don't that. Don't say that one. <laughs> 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 okay. Thank you. Lou? Uh, I guess uh, the only thing I can report is the sidewalks are about a day away from being complete. Ah, they are great. Um, there's a few little punch list items that uh, are there, but uh, they're almost done now. Are they going to be done by Friday? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, that's all those flag guys. <laughs> they're not going to have a name. The uh, barrels are gone from the street. There's yeah, still a few barrels out there. Uh, very pleased that that's there. Nice too. It does look nice. It really did. Thank you, Louie. Really. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it finally came to fruition. <laughs> I know. I worked hard on that. And uh, we do appreciate all your you. your yeah. help that you've made sure it went smoothly. As smoothly as possible. It did. It really did. We really did. If it was smooth, we would have thought it was easy. <laughs> right. Now it would have been awesome. Your value is increased by the lack of smoothiness. <laughs> Judy, do you have anything? Um, I, I have a, a road problem, and I talked to Keith, and nothing has really occurred.
occurred and it's getting worse. I'm not sure exactly what I need to be doing. Okay, and what is that? Uh, right up in the very narrow piece where we have one of those cones because we lost a lot of land. Is it near, it's near your house? Yeah. What has happened is that on the other side, the silt has gone down into an area uh, where there have been placed rocks so that now the problem is, is that the water that's coming off of the hill, which I think it's a spring, is now running on the road and we had two like holes, potholes, and now we have eight or nine of them. Okay. And uh, I had mentioned it to Keith and uh, actually uh, I think something really seriously needs to happen because the problem is, is that it's a very narrow piece. It's up just up above where uh, the almonds live. Oh, okay. where it narrows right down and then there's yeah. a cliff. Yeah. Okay. So there's not much maneuvering room to get around them. Okay. And I think that's why they're getting worse because the cars have to go through it. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have no other place to go. Yeah. Right. Do you want me to call Kate tomorrow? Are, are we supposed to like tell Lou about these kind of things and yeah. have you call? Well, well, in theory, the whole flick board is the yeah. Okay, that's all I'm right. 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 I don't want to talk about Keith. No, I'm not trying to, you know, burden you with that. I didn't know how that worked. No, that's what if I said. someone got a call, if it went to one. Yeah, yeah. all of us, can, any of us can talk to Keith. I think okay. Right, right. So, do you want to? I'll mention Do you want to mention Joe? Okay. okay, all right, we will take care of that. Okay. Okay, do you have anything else, Judy? No, thank you. Paul, other than. Oops, sorry. You need to. If you need something from me, for me to, to do, okay, please ask. ZDBG. Look at Paul light up. No. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're, they're, doing, they're doing that. Abuse here. <laughs> they're doing that. That was part of the deal. You're doing the paperwork. <laughs> do you have anything, Paul? No, that's nice. Thank you. No. Well, so if you have any questions about the CDBG process, I'll be glad to answer. Otherwise, there's nothing really to report. Andy? Just another road thing. Uh, okay. On Water Street, with all the rain we've had, it's eroding slowly, but sure, the brook side. It's draining into the brook. Are you talking about that one area that David combed off? No, it's yeah. all the way up through. Oh, all the way up the river. Because I talked to Keith about that. You walk the dog up through there, it's what caught me out of it. It seems to be running that way to, to the brook. That was probably salt that way. But, and it's, it's just gravel, so it's just, you know, making channels down into the ledge. I think what, what, what's happened is the ledge is, is rather large, yeah. so it's got big crevices. And the gravel that was put on it kind of drops yeah. through some of those crevices. So I think until until those crevices fill up with right. small material, that's going to continue to happen. That's what Todd Moniz told us right. when mm -hmm. we went. The water mm -hmm. comes from the hills after the rain, comes down into those rocks, and we're before the rocks were there for a long, long time. Right. As Lou said, they're not there, so there's crevices, and they've got to be filled up with all the stuff that comes through. Once they're filled up, they won't look like they're coming through underneath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, I did talk to Keith about that, and hopefully he'll... Uh, I'll mention to him again tomorrow when I talk to him about this problem to okay. him road, but uh, well, when that gets repaired, that's going is that gonna be addressed? What? Water screen? Yeah, and all that. I mean, is there more work gonna be done on that? Well the interesting thing is once you put asphalt on there, then you hopefully it's not gonna continue to undermine the asphalt. That's the big issue. Yeah. Right. See this brings up a, a question that I'm faced with from the uh, the FEMA project situation. We, we've kind of delaying moving on Water Street, pending the resolution of this other issue on Water Street. Do we still want to keep that going? Because it looks as it stands now that the original delay, waiting for some decision from FEMA about the, the public assistance to the road later, that seems to be being resolved by use of state funds. Do we want to push forward for that? Because I mean, I think that the, the, the 
I don't know enough about how the hydraulics is going, but I think if that was paid, it would be in better shape. If we could get that done. Yeah. 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 But we're just kind of trying to land on the other side of the tow. Well, but we're kind of delaying moving on that until this other water street issue gets resolved. And I'm wondering if we're at a point now where we can go ahead and move forward with it. Can you do that too? Do we have enough time between the end of, now and the end of construction season? I don't know if we can get it done, but we can certainly get moving on it. You know, there's lots of things that need to be done, bids and RFPs and that sort of stuff. But the tricky piece is we've been on hold for so long, waiting for the other shoe to drop on that other on the project, that we've been sort of reluctant to get started on anything. But maybe we're at the point now. And if we do it, it won't have anything to do with the, the other the people's property, would it? Well, basically, I mean. You mean the four houses? Yeah. No, because it, it well, it's on the town right away. It's on the town right away right now. Right. So if that was always the issue, if we buy it, it becomes our land, and there's other all these other iffy things. But this isn't going very fast. And since there is no time limit on the other issue right. for us to actually do anything, I don't think I want to put this off too much longer. No, Before the HMGP program had a time limit. Now we're working with the CDDG program, there's no time limit, and I don't think we want to put this off indefinitely. We need to do something for that road. So could we do well, that? I think, I think there, is there some engineering money with that? With that? I'd have to look specifics. Because I'd like to have an engineer uh, a draw, like for example, we've got to decide how wide that road has to be, yeah. how, lot, how wide the sidewalk has to be, uh, well, whether there will be a sidewalk yeah. or not. Well, so I'd like to see an engineer. Yeah, the FEMA, the FEMA says that well, they will be giving us a sidewalk because there was one there before. Right. So I'd like to see an engineer yeah. make plans. I'm not sure exactly what we have left because I haven't put much time into it recently, but it's certainly worth looking into and maybe moving it. Maybe we should forward. move that forward now and start working. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe an RFP for engineering work would be the... Uh, there may be something, we may have something up from CHA that they already, they already done this. I just have to go back and look at it. I mean, I've, been, I've been working this other project, but I'm just thinking maybe it's time to stand there early on. Engineering? I think so. I know there's an awful lot of surveying going on out there. Right, and think, trying to lay the road down where it's supposed to be, but define engineering versus just the survey, I don't know. Right. Well, you can check into that to see if there is anything engineering, if not. We can yeah. put out an RFP for that engineering part of it. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, do I do engineering if you like this? I like this design build. That's such so much easier. I don't think that's going to work in Water Street because, uh, for example, there are things like the sidewalk. Yeah. You can't put a two foot sidewalk back in there because it doesn't follow ADA rules. Mm -hmm. Whatever the new sidewalk is has to follow ADA rules. Yeah. Uh, whether it follows the state rules or not doesn't matter. It must follow ADA rules. Well, still, uh, if we put it out as a design bill, the designer would incorporate that. Yeah, but I think there's going to be some. I think I think we're going to want to see the engineering plan, yeah. comment on it, and. Uh, so we won't be able to. Christina says we can put things back the way they, the way were. they were. Yeah, that would be nice. So. <coughs> so the question so is whether we're going to put, it back, the put the side, sidewalks back the way they were. No. Oh, that doesn't. That right. doesn't you, count. You, no, you must follow. It's like it's kind of like this okay. bridge thing where the bridge, the uh, ANR says you've got to be 1.2. You can't put it back the way it was. You've got to put it back the right way. Same thing would be true with the sidewalks. Okay. You have to follow. We are not. We would not be allowed to build a sidewalk that didn't follow ADA rules. Okay. So there's going to be some. There's going to be work to be done. You know, and there's issues to be worked through. So I just think maybe we've got to get started on that. That's big, right? Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, and it's one of those things that I don't want. I, I'm convinced that this other issue is going to take more time to resolve, and we don't really have that much more time. No, we've got to start thinking of putting that road back together. I right think now. so. I believe. And so. if we can put it together before anything happens, yeah, I, that's fine. There's, there, with the with the FEMA process, they were very clear that you don't do anything until they make a decision. Right. But FEMA's not there anymore now. It's right. So we should, be, we should yeah. be all right. I think we're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. I will get in touch with the <coughs> guy to make sure. So we suggest we do a fire engineering. For engineering, right? Yeah. That's what I would recommend. All right. So I'll talk to him more just to make sure what I just said is accurate. As far as we can put the. Uh, we can go ahead and move and on. And start it. moving on, yeah. yes. And, and check to see if there is engineering uh, yep. monies available as part of that. Project. Project. Okay. Uh, nobody has anything else? Can we adjourn?
So moved. Second. Uh, we adjourn at 7.57.